finds out why her mother called the police on her own son. It was not a criminal activity. That, I think, is embarrassing. We'll be right back. Next. I am such an extremely overprotective mother. I ended up calling the police department because I didn't know where he was. I found out he was asleep upstairs. I just woke up and I was like, Mom, what's going on? Imagine the greater possibilities for being who you are. Life class is in session and it's changing the way we watch television. Yeah. Ah, love it. Here's what you have to say. Now it's your turn. Experience Oprah's Life Class. All the weeknights, 8, 7 Central, only on OWN. Plus, don't miss the live webcast Fridays, 9, 8 Central on OWN. Oprah.com or Facebook. Extremely overprotective mother. I am just so afraid to let go of my baby Ryan. The most embarrassing part is that my mom doesn't really trust me to go out. She thinks that something's gonna happen to me. Oh, 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 oh. If I can't reach Ryan, what was a panic attack? I used to call Ryan ten times a day. I check seven to ten times a day. Have you seen Ryan? It's been like Ryan. Yeah. Where have you been, Ryan? The most extreme example. I ended up calling the police department because I didn't know where he was. I called ten of his friends. And then they called their friends and started crying and really started to panic. And you find out he was asleep upstairs. I just woke up and I was like, Mom, what's going on? Like, why are you yelling so loud? I thought he was kidnapped. I think my overprotectors can be brought on and crazy. First of all, you're going to cry. This is the last child that I have. We're not just going to cry. I'm not going to cry. If goes away to college, he might get his wallet to pocket it. I'm going to just wipe his ring in the back. I'm going to get him. I just don't trust anybody. Dr. Phil, could you please tell me how do I stop this embarrassing behavior? Joining us via Polycom video in Andover, Massachusetts. And of course, you know, she couldn't bear to be without her beloved son, Ryan. So, of course, he's with her as well. Ryan, all I can say is your mama loves you. Dr. Phil, can you help us? Yes, yes, she I know. loves you. <laughs> all right, Tanya. She's my baby. Okay, hey, Tanya, it's Dr. Phil here. Now, do you really want to change this or are you here to defend it? I'm here to change it. Really, really? You're here to change it? I crossed my heart. Really, really here to change it. Okay, Ryan. But I'm still going to love him. Okay, of course you are. And Ryan, li listen. Yes. Feel blessed that you have a parent that is invested in you, that you have a parent that cares about you, and that loves you instead of not having any concern for you whatsoever. So you'll be happy with that, but now you're going to like what I have to say to your mother. And All right. Uh, and Tony, Are here's you funny? Oh, Mom, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm oh, nice with Dr. Phil said because he is very special to me. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, very special man. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, no, you, no you, you can cry if you want to. I don't mind a bit. But here's the deal. First off, understand that you're operating under a delusion of control. You're not doing this for him. You are doing this for you. What you're doing doesn't help him at all. All it does is give you a fix for your anxiety that you think that he is not competent enough to do what he needs to do in the world. Give yourself more credit for having raised him better than that. He is an intelligent young man. You are calling and tracking him to make yourself feel better. This isn't even about him. This is all about you. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Do you think that your calling is going to keep him from getting in trouble? No. You're doing this because you need a fix. You need reassurance. And you go from one fix to the next. Reassurance to reassurance to reassurance. This is all about you, and you need to deal with that security issue and leave that young man alone. Yes. You know, Tanya, I like what Phil just said to you. Trust that you've done a good job. He's going to college. Ryan, we wish you luck going to college. Tanya, you're going to be fine, I promise you. Thank you. Thank you.